As parents, we struggle to make the right choices for our children, but what can we do to make sure they're learning the particular skills they'll need to succeed as adults in our modern workplace as it shifts and evolves at an ever faster pace? Jen Prozek, founder and CEO of Prozek Partners and co-author of Raising Can-Do Kids, giving children the tools to thrive in a fast-changing world, joins us now to discuss. Jen, thanks so much for being here. For having me. First of all, what inspired you to write this book? Well, my brother and I are both entrepreneurs, and my whole adult life, people were saying, what did your parents do? What did your parents do to create such entrepreneurial kids? So when I had my own child, I went, I was curious, yeah. could I make a dent in her entrepreneurial IQ? And did your parents actually, when you look back, you see they took steps to develop that in you? As we did the research, and I have a co-author who's actually a PhD, so I found that I had instincts about entrepreneurship, but I wanted him to bring the science right. of parenting to it. And what we found was parents can absolutely have a, quite a big impact on their children's resourcefulness factor. By encouraging certain qualities? By encouraging certain qualities. For example, optimism. Mm -hmm. And this is something my parents definitely encouraged in me. Framing the day as an adventure, being an optimist, rubs off on your children. And if you want them to embrace failure, for instance, like entrepreneurs do, yes. you have to have a certain level of optimism. And you, resilience, I would imagine, right? Absolutely. That's a big one, letting things roll off your back. Yes, resourcefulness, resilience, mm -hmm. um, even having small failures, and as a parent, reframing those as they're okay. Right. Um, if you look at Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, I read in a certain story, they typically have three to five failures before their big hit. So American entrepreneurs embrace failures like no one else in the world, and we want to make sure we hold on to that. It's a learning opportunity. It's a learning right? opportunity. So this is important, you're saying, for all children in the workplace of the future, not just those children who will go on to be entrepreneurs. Absolutely. I really wrote the book um, to, about creating entrepreneurial kids, mm -hmm. not just business babies. Right, right. <laughs> so this is for everyone. Um, but it's very, very important because, as you know, career tracks are broken. Yes. There are no guarantees. Uh, the roadmap from A to Z is not straightforward. We all have to become navigators, and right. that's what our kids are going to need the most. So are there any particular tips that you can give right now on ways of encouraging some of these qualities in your kids? Definitely. I mean, one is very obvious and has been talked about a lot, but free and unstructured play. You know, we are so over scheduling our children to the point where they don't take risk, they don't have experience, they don't have creativity, and that's going to be a problem in the future. Kind of sucking all the entrepreneurial opportunities out of the way right. we raise our kids. And you say creativity and and participating in the arts is important as a kid. Absolutely, all of those things. I mean, how many kids are actually chucked into the backyard with a bunch of sticks and right. told to make up their own game anymore? It's right. just not what we do. And even myself, being an entrepreneur and being so concerned about it, you find yourself falling into a parenting culture that really doesn't do this. Right, because I can see how the modern workplace really rewards creativity and thinking outside of the box. Absolutely. And you need to train kids or give them the opportunity to do that. You do. And I think what we're finding as employers, because mm -hmm. I'm also an employer, is right. the kids are more fearless, um, smarter, faster, everything, but they actually lack that um, entrepreneurial spirit sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, and you even find, and I'm sure you've read about this, parents kind of doing the job for their kids as they're searching for a job. Yeah. So <laughs> That helicopter parenting. Yes, so exactly. you're saying get rid of the helicopter parenting. You have to. Give your kids the courage to take risks and to fail. Should we, should we actively take the opportunity to set them up in ways that they will fail? Yes. We should look for sort of safety zones mm -hmm. to take a risk. Right. Let, let's not like hurt our children. Right. No, no, no. You know, if there's an <laughs> opportunity to take a small risk mm -hmm. that is relatively low risk, it's right. worthwhile. And so what are some ways you can do this? Let's say you have a child that is not particularly artistic or athletic. How do you encourage this risk taking? Well, it's funny, even, even just not doing everything for them. I'll give you an right. example. Okay. When my child went to Montessori school, when she was two, the first thing that the, the teacher said to us was, stop carrying your children up the stairs. Stop putting their shoes on for them. Right. They don't, they do that for themselves here. It was like a big light bulb for me. Yes. We do everything for our kids and we don't realize we're doing it. Even the opportunity to like experiment with zipping your zipper and yes. having your parent do it. It's so true. Sometimes we do it out of expediency. We, we need do. to get out the door. Yes. We don't have time to sit and let them put on their shoes, which can take five minutes, but we need to take that breather and say, okay, it may take an extra 10 minutes to get out the door for That's my kid right. to put his jacket on and put his own shoes on. 
but we need to take that time. Listen, whether you're an adult or a child, that feeling of, I didn't think I could do it and then I did it, right. is a huge experience and we do. We take it out of our child's life every single day. All right, Jen, thank you so much thank for that you. great advice for our kids. And that is your lunch break for today. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great afternoon. Thank <laughs> you.